Hi guys. Um, thanks for uh, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Oh my God, my dog is already on me. Oh my Lord. Um, let me try this again. I'm Shauna. Thanks for uh, so much for joining us um, tonight this afternoon. Uh, we are going to be making strawberry uh, margaritas. Um, look outside, and we had a huge dump of snow, and I'm not happy about it at all. So I thought, what the heck? Let's bring on summer by making a boozy drink. So yeah. I thought that was a fabulous idea. Um, my son's going to help me. Um, he's not going to taste it, though. I'm doing the tasting. That's the most important part, right? Exactly. All right. So, strawberry margarita, it's brand new in our uh, catalog that came out just uh, yesterday. Um, very excited. I opened up the cap just to see what it would smell like. And it smells divine. Do you want to see what it smells like? You know, it's sweet. It's like a sweet strawberry. Yeah. So what's really great about this stuff, too, is not only can you make it for margaritas. I was looking it up. You can all make it in milkshakes with it. Um, yeah, which I would be really excited to do as well. Um, and you know what? You don't have to make it a boozy drink. You can just, you know, forego the alcohol. Um, it's totally up to you, but I thought, you know what? I, I wouldn't mind making a little bit of an alcohol drink tonight. Uh, so what we're going to use for alcohol is uh, tequila. My husband ran out and got some for me, so it's brand new, just for you guys. So that's how much I like you. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. But I guess before we get started, we should talk about a little bit about me. Who am I? I don't know. Who am I? Um, I'm Sean. I've been with Epicure now for almost two years. Um, I was in recreation before. I was a recreation facilitator in a um, nursing home, um, which we'll call COVID hit, and I've got a few autoimmune disorders, so I thought, you know what, I don't know what COVID looked like, so I thought I'm just going to become a stay-at-home mom, and I, I shouldn't use the word just, but you know what I mean. It's, it's, a, it's a big job. I totally appreciate it, but the thing is, I'm just so used to, you know, talking with lots of people and planning and, you know, just working outside the house, and it was a little weird that I wasn't. So anyway, somebody invited me to one of these parties, um, Epicure, and I never heard of Epicure in my life. I was like, what the heck is Epicure? I don't know. Um, but I quickly learned about it and how amazing it is. The fact that it's uh, gluten-free, it's low in sugar, low in salt, um, and there's no preservatives, it's all natural grown right here in BC, um, in Canada. I was, I was really, really excited about it and it didn't take me long to agree to uh, become an ambassador and spread the word. So, which I'm very happy I did because I can tell you, my stomach thanks me and I, all these like all these uh, meal solutions and recipes very easy to do yeah, very easy to follow it has everything on the back so when I talk about Epicure I've had a lot of people say to me I don't know how to cook um, I do takeout I just grab frozen stuff I don't do that and I said well my friend you can do it and um, and they learned that, that they, they can do it because it's just easy as one two three so yes so you ready to make a drink? Sure. Let's make a drink. Okay. So I have here in front of me a few different stuff here. Um, I want to show you guys. We also have the pina colada. Um, we're not making fries, but I want to show you because I got in my cupboard. We have uh, the Cajun fries and the cheesy fries, which is also new in our catalog. We've got uh, Pop Shop. It's a nice fizzy cola drink without the caffeine. So I thought I would show you guys what that looks like. I'm waiting for my ginger tea to arrive. I know that looks really good, right? Yeah, it, does. it does, yeah. Um, we can maybe put it in, yeah, sure you can smell it. I, you can maybe open up the cap because I didn't even open up the uh, seal yet. Um, I also have blue butterfly tea. Um, I ended up just taking a bunch of my teas and throwing them all in my tea canister to save room. Um, the pink lemonade, and I also have his biscuits tea. So I've got recipes for everything, you know, so you can make yourself a really beautiful drink. All right, I think I'm done talking now. Let's get to business. I'm gonna take off my glasses so I can read it here. Um, for one thing, we need two cups of everything. We need uh, two tablespoons of the mix. So I'm gonna put my glasses back on so I don't miss it. Miss the mix. And I'm gonna open up my 
You gonna do that for me? Okay, thank you so much. Okay, I'm gonna grab a tablespoon. Hopefully I won't make a mess, and if I do, that's okay. This is my four to one spice spoon, I love it. Um, we got the tablespoon here, the teaspoon, I flip it over, and I've got a half teaspoon and a quarter teaspoon, which is indicated right at the line here. So, I love them, you know what, I've ne after using these things, I haven't used anything else because I really do love these spoons. One and two. Now, if you put a little extra in it, it's not the end of the world, in my opinion. There you go. Great. Is there anybody out there right now, Daryl? No. No. Well, that's okay. There's always the re, uh, the rewind, right? What am I doing? I'm going to pick it back up because I really don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so then I need a cup of water. Okay, so could buy one cup and... Oh, okay, so I need one cup of water and... Uh, oh, and then one cup of frozen strawberries and one cup of ice cubes. Oh, okay, I could totally do that. All right, so I'm gonna go grab my cup of water here. Um, you're probably noticing that I I don't have a measuring cup in my hands. That's okay because these prep bowls do the job. Uh, we have this prep bowl is exactly a cup. If you look to the side, you've got your quarter, half, three quarter at the top is your full cup. So that is really nice. All right, so what else do I need? I need I need frozen strawberries, you ready? All right. Yummy. All right, so I'm just going to dig in here for my frozen strawberries. Now, this makes two cups. All right. And then we're going to do a cup of ice. So I have it right here. Here we go. I might have to go get my other tray of ice. I had made pie dough earlier. I need, I need my ice for that. That's good. Yeah. All right. I might go grab some more ice later. I don't know. Okay. What else do I need? I need the tequila. Now it says two ounces of tequila. I think is that what it says? Yeah. I'm gonna only do an ounce because I haven't really eaten much all day and I don't want. You know, to get kind of weird. I can't open this. That's right. Okay, here. Okay. Wasn't there a <clears throat> plastic thing on top? I, I took it off. Oh. <laughs> Would that be funny? <laughs> I can't take it off. Oh, it's a plastic seal. Holy. Or you want me to? It's, I almost got it. Okay, you almost got it. Oh, okay, just well, don't. I just don't want to slip. No. Maybe the whole thing goes flying because it's not, the tequila's not cheap. Oh, we got it. Hooray! All right. So I am going to look at my line here. How much is, are you okay? Mm-hmm. I can't see. All right, well, I will, I will guess what it is. That looks like an ounce, but I don't know, it's probably even a little less than an ounce, but you know what, that's okay, because I'm really, the point of this exercise is not to get soused. All right, so does that all I need? I, that is. Okay, so now we're going to turn this thing on and pray that it works, because I was having an issue with appliances. Never wanted to work for me. Okay, please God, please let it work. Okay, we turn on the switch. <laughs> So I got a plate of salt, and I'm going to put a little bit of salt in here. 
And I got my salt grinder and I went, uh, 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 uh. And I opened up the top and I sprinkled some onto the plate, right? So now what I'm gonna do, I don't know if you guys can see me because I'm surrounded by all kinds of stuff here. Hold it so you can see the magic here. I grabbed myself a bowl. Okay, let's move this some stuff over here. And I got myself a citrus press. I don't know if you guys have this, but this is absolutely amazing. Um, you put your lime here, you put your uh, lemon here, and you squish the dickens out of it, and the juice comes out, and life is good. So that's what we're gonna do here. So let's go and cut the lemon, or I'm sorry, the lemon half. I cut it, please. You wanna cut, okay, okay, be careful. All right, so Nathan is cutting the, lime. okay, so when you cut, okay, I'm gonna teach you how to cut. I'm gonna teach you how to cut, okay? Okay, right on, okay. So when you cut, right, you press down, right? Yeah. And you go like that. Yeah, that, that's the same thing when you do meat. All right, so do you wanna press it now? Yeah. Okay, so we are gonna do some juice. So Nathan, you're gonna put it in here, you're gonna hold it, here, take it and hold it. And now this bowl, it holds free, uh, free, uh, four cups. And it comes with these really fantastic, um, Lid. Same with the small ones. I should have shown you guys, but I didn't. My apologies. So this is for the big one. This is for the small one. How are we doing? Pretty good. Pretty, Pretty good. good. Nice, nice epicure plants. Oh my gosh, yes. It's so easy to squish. We put two in. Uh, no. You know what? We don't need... You want to eat some of them after? Sure. You want to eat it? Let's go. So Nathan eats um, the lemons and limes just like it is because, well, he's different, right? And it's good to be different. All right. Wow. I'm sorry, but if I did that, I'd be like, right? That's what I'd be doing. All right, so I'm gonna get a bowl here, uh, or um, what's this called, a glass. Now I'm gonna dip it into my lime. Now it says to take it if you want, and just kind of run it around your glass like this. So you have a nice little salt um, garnish, exactly. Make it so beautiful. All right. It's already cut. Yeah, so then we're gonna we're gonna rest it. All right. I hope the heck. Hope this isn't gonna be like. Or I might have to add a little bit of water. Where's my thing? Here? All right. All right, baby. Please pour nicely. I'd be all chunky. All right. Woo. All right. It's good. It's good. Okay. I'm just gonna take it and. I'll hold it down. Okay, okay. I mean. If you wanted to add some more liquid to it, so it's a little bit, okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. Eee. It looks good, but I can't eat it. I know, I'm so sorry. I feel so bad. Beautiful, oh my God. Oh, what a nice drink this is. Oh my Lord, okay, now I'm gonna go get a nice fancy uh, which I'll call it straw. Hold it. It's, where is the straw? Yes. All right. Oh my God. I love it. Oh my, you know what? It's really, really like, you know, snowy and crappy out there, but Hey, I've got a nice summer drink. So cheers. Cheers to all of us. And this cheers, cheers, cheers my friend. My, my, mm. That's a really good drink. It's really good drink. It's pretty good. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. But I gotta slow, drink it really slowly though. So I don't get all weird. Alright. That is a really great drink. I'm very excited. Now, before you guys run away on me, okay, because I know you got things to do. Um, I wanted to talk to you about our um, welcome kit if anyone decides one day perhaps to join. So in the past, it came with this beautiful knife, right? I love it. It was on sale last month, but no longer is, but um, it's okay. All right, so instead of the knife, it comes with this nice big sheet pan and liner. Now let me tell you, this thing is a game changer because I don't know about you guys, but when I cook and bake, I hate, hate, hate cleaning, you know, like pans because it gets all that crap, you know, stuck to it and then you're fighting with your pan to clean it. This liner, silicone, does the trick. 
you know, when you make your fries, right? Put your little potato-y things on here with your seasoning, you know. You know, in the oven it goes. It comes off nicely. And when you wash it, you just use soap and water and, you know, just rub it together. And there you go. Dry it and you're off to the races. I'm already feeling the tequila. So that's that. Um, that was really great. If you guys have any questions at all, give me a shout. I'm around. I'd appreciate it. You know, I always like to talk. And we can chat. We can discuss what's in this uh, catalog. Um, I'm really excited about our new, uh, our new product. Hopefully, you know, I'll get my ginger tea soon. And, but that's okay. Even if I don't, I've got other things I can make, like my fries, my different drinks. We got a lot of goodies in here. So, you know, hop on my line, take a look, and uh, yeah, ask me, ask me questions. All right, do you have any questions, Nathan? No? Well, thank you no. so much for helping me out. No problem. You know, I'm, I'm sorry I can't share my drink with you, but you know, we'll, we'll make maybe a, a mango lassi. I'll make you a mango lassi. Nathan's talking about mango lassi. It was in the catalog last year, no longer is. That's his favorite drink, so we'll make it later because he's such a good help. Right? Okay. Right. Okay. 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 Thanks again, you guys. I had a good time. And uh, take care and talk to you soon. All right. Bye for now. Bye.